Guess who's starting class tonight? Momo's going to become a therapy dog or training too. He's six years old, super good in public, super good with people. It's just, you know, we're looking for something exciting to do. We're looking for something enriching to do. And it's one of my resolutions this year to um, volunteer a bit more. And I want to involve him in it. So he is now going to class. So we found a trainer near me. She was about $300 for a six week class. He loves ear scratches. That is for the Canine Good Citizen and for therapy dog training. So hopefully he gets certified in both, fingers crossed. He is a little barker as the breed is. And what's really cute is that I created, I like sewed this little bandana for him to wear. And it's gonna go over his, his um, collar. And it took me 15 minutes to make, and it has the cutest little embroidery patches on it. But I'm excited to see how well he does. We're here. Yes, we are. Look at how cute you are. You ready? Momo ended up doing really well on his first day of class, and there were multiple times where the trainer was joking, you know, like, oh, I know I didn't train him, but I'm going to take credit for him. <laughs> so good job to Momo for being an awesome dog and being such a smart doggy. During class, we did a lot of the sit, stay, down, comes, and practice a lot with the equipment to get used to what it would be like working in different settings. And as you can see here, Momo was a rock star and did super well, even working with the trainer. He always came running back to me though, so he wasn't the best model student. After that, we did a lot of practicing in different settings, like in Petco, Barnes & Nobles, the mall, anywhere that was really dog friendly, just to make sure that we were getting these tricks um, and these skills, you know, generalized to different settings with and without treats to get him really prepared for the test. I want to make sure that not only do we prepare him for the test, but that he actually would make a good therapy dog and would be calm in new settings. Typically when we take him to the mall, he gets very overstimulated. So varying up where we were doing our training was really important here to make sure that he was comfortable in all different settings, as well as really making sure that he kept his attention on me and was looking to me for direction. So here I am just doing some random things, some of it therapy dog training, some of it just his regular tricks and stuff, just to see um, how he would do. And we also learned a new trick, which is healing. And that was really, really hard for us to learn, but I'm really glad that we were able to learn it from the dog training class and apply it in real life. Now what's really funny is that Samoyeds typically don't make great therapy dogs because of their general temperament. They're super stubborn, they can be really independent, they can be really barky and really vocal. Um, and just in general, maybe it's not like their right area of work for them. But what's really awesome, <laughs> as Momo looks at us, is that Momo has a really, really gentle, patient, and is eager to work type of disposition. Like he's eager to please me and he's eager to kind of build that relationship with me, which helps really with the training and then gets him prepared to like go into all these different settings and to work with other people. He really likes being touched by others and he doesn't jump and he doesn't lick excessively so he doesn't get super stressed out. Um, and he is confident in our communication with each other that he knows that I'll be able to tell when I need to advocate for him to give it, give him a break or to remove him from a situation. So I think because of his temperament, his trust and our relationship, but mainly his temperament, is so gentle and calm and patient which is a lot different than what you see from the normal sammy breed is what makes him a good candidate for this point now i always wanted momo to be a therapy dog but he was way too curious when he was younger so now that he's older and a lot calmer and is willing to listen more and not be so excited i think six years old is the perfect time for him to kind of get into this line of work which is why we're doing it now today is the day Today is test day. Wish us luck. We've been practicing. So the test is about 10 minutes long and we have to take it without any treats at all, which was a bit scary in the beginning, but then I remember that Momo's super smart and we've done this before a million times. So it wasn't that big of a deal when it actually came to testing. And guess who passed? Momo did. So now we'll be working on paperwork and finding our first volunteer opportunity. Good job, Momo.